We love well spoken comedy. <laughs> and honestly, I wish I had a legitimate answer. Like, I wish, I wish I could like pass him a number to a hotline. You could just get all those questions answered. <laughs> you know, you could dial up and it'd be like, for general questions on black people, press one. <laughs> For questions on Obama, press two. <laughs> For the answer to the question, can I touch your hair, press three. <laughs> You've pressed three. No. Hey, this is what's supposed to come to they doing it, y'all. They out here, they out here. You know what I'm saying? They doing this shit. Uh, you guys should definitely come see this tour. It's great. When I look at Miley Cyrus, I can only think one thing. There's no way that white supremacists can still think they're a supreme race looking at her. <laughs> She's like a white version of Flavor Flav. <laughs> Only difference is Flavor Flav sets black people back a thousand years, and Miley Cyrus sets white people forward a thousand years. Because you can't set white people back because it just gets better the further and further you go back. <laughs> You gotta send them forward when they're speaking Spanish in the minority. Well, Miley's taking all you guys one day at a time. Well spoken. Woo! I don't know, like, Michael is such a white name compared to my brother's name. It's like, you white people can agree. <laughs> it is. I feel like if my parents were gonna give me a super white name, like, like Michael, they should have named me Chad. <laughs> Cause we can all agree like Chad is like the whitest name ever. But it's still a country in Africa, right? They thought about it a little harder. <laughs> I could be Chad right now.